we're back for more. We're back for more. I'm glad you're back. I really am glad you're back, though. So let's just get right into it because this is a little touchy topic. Hey, I wanted to ask you for some... I sounded so excited. This is not at all an exciting question, so let me just stop. This is a question I got on Tumblr, by the way, and it says... Hi, I wanted to ask you for some advice. I have gave my family hints that I am pansexual, but they just seem to brush it off. I was raised in a Christian family where being anything other than straight is an abomination and will go to hell for liking someone other than the opposite sex. My question is, how do I come out to my family when I know I'm going to lose them forever and be kicked out? This is, it's a sad topic. It's sad and it sucks. But I do want to say that I don't know if you'll ever watch this video, but I really do admire the the fact that you are taking the initiative to do this, to fully accept yourself as you are and know that nothing is going to change you, know that no gay detox camp is not going to change you, know that nothing like that is going to revert you or whatever they believe back to how you were or how you should be. But I want to say that I really do admire that and that's something that you should be proud of because not very many people in this world have the guts to stand up and say, hey, I know this is the consequences that are going to happen, my families are going to hate me, never want to talk to me again, but I want to live my life how I am, how I want, how I was meant to live my life. Whoever you are that wrote to me and said this, or anybody who's going through this, I want to say that I'm proud of you guys for knowing that you have this option, for remembering that you have this option, because a lot of us don't have the guts to do this. A lot of us just rather live a shitty ass life because we don't want to lose our family members. You know, it sucks because you're not really living for yourself. You're living for other people and that's what you need to move away from. So with this, I just want to say that, you know, I don't, we, no one will know if your parents will ever come around because of the way that they were raised and the way they raised you and their mentality and their thoughts and their traditions and just the way they think and their religion. So you never know if they'll come around. But the fact that you want to move on and you want to move forward and you know that this is going to happen is already the right mentality that you have in mind. I would say, and I don't know what your situation is, but if you haven't already, make sure that you're independent financially independent because that is one thing that I'm sure you've thought about since you say that you will be kicked out. Just prepare yourself. You have to always think about the consequences no matter what and obviously don't harp on the consequences but know how you're going to fix them if a consequence or obstacle comes your way. Know how you're going to get over that, how you're going to overcome that. It's always something you have to be ready for, especially with coming out because it can go a bajillion kind of ways. You know, there's so many possibilities. That's something you really do need to take into consideration. Let's say that you have all that figured out. Well, you can always write a letter you can always have your bags packed and, and know where you're going make sure you have somewhere to stay you have a plan you have all of this set up before you do something as drastic as this and who knows maybe they won't react the way you think they will or maybe they will react that way or maybe they'll react worse you just have to be ready for all that if they don't react the way you thought because I mean you're their kid you're their baby and maybe having somebody in the family and They'll see things through different eyes. We never know. We can never be too sure. So let's just, you know, make sure that you know what may happen and it maybe it'll be a good thing to move out anyways. Even if they do accept you, it might be good to be on your own and, and give them time to think because sometimes it's that they do accept you and then all of a sudden they turn on you. You never know. But you asked how how to come out is how you feel most comfortable. If you feel like you'd be more comfortable writing a letter write that telling one of your siblings first or if you have any siblings or or, or tell the parent parent that you feel more comfortable most comfortable with first or set them both down or set all your family members down express your feelings that's one thing that you really should do is express your feelings completely how you feel how you think it makes them feel how you wish they would feel just all of it all of it all of it so they can see how you feel and and see that that it hurts you and that it affects you and that it's not easy to tie in how scared you've been or how fearful of this moment where you've always been or how much you've thought about it and really allow them to see every perspective that maybe granted they might not even let you talk or think about it but I would say if I were in a situation I would write out everything that I feel in a letter seal it up and write mom and dad or whatever you have to write on it and then also try to talk to them and if things go wrong and they don't let me talk or they wouldn't allow me to talk or they wouldn't want to hear me talk or they automatically just write me off and say get the hell out of my house I'd have my bags ready first of all I have that letter ready and then I would talk to them and now that I see that that didn't work out I would give them the letter and there are all my feelings on there. If they didn't want to read it, then they didn't want to read it, but I tried. It's there, and I'll probably have a copy on the side because, you know, 
I'm not going to try to write all that out again or say all that out again. So that's one way to do it. And just be proud that you know and you realize that you don't have to stay in a situation like this and that you have ways out of it. And I wish you the best of luck and I really do hope that everything goes well and it's not at all how you think it will be. But if it is, I wish you even more <laughs> amazing things that come your way because I know it's going to be really hard, but you're going to get through it. You are doing what a lot of people wouldn't do. So it's good that you're you're making, you're taking the initiative to get out of there you know, knowing that they're not going to accept you or anything like that, but I do wish you the best and just talk to them and just be honest with them and how you feel and uh, whether it's going to go well or not, maybe you'll be able to find out. Thank you very much for asking this question. I really do honestly hope the best. If you're going through a situation like this, please make sure that you can handle this. Find people that support you. Go to the people that, that support you first. Those who support you are going to be the hugest, the biggest help that you can find out there. And have to stick to people who truly accept you how you are and love you how you are unconditionally and support you through anything. Remember that. Just keep that in mind. Okay, well, I hope you guys have a good rest of the day or night and I'll talk to you guys next time. Don't forget that all of my links and everything are down below. Follow me on social media and stuff. Um, yep. Yeah. Well, i talk to you soon. Bye. Thank you. Thank you for sticking around. Hopefully you continue to stick around. Thank you for all the comments in advance. Alright, bye.